Welcome to the LibreOffice Tips and Tricks. Today I would like to continue with calculations and uh, present how to make a trend line and calculate any curve fitting uh, using the spreadsheet software. We have an uh, imaginary data, uh, a theoretical experiment, measurement days, for example, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then we skip the weekend and continue on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we have one week data collection. We will uh, show data uh, as time is running. So the initial measurement is time, time day zero. Then first day, second day, skip the weekend, three and four days are missing. Continue with five, six, seven. And now we will have data let's say mass, biomass uh, increase and so on and uh, get with 6, 7 and continue okay now I filled it this is a theoretical experiment this is something typically you can get as a result of data collection or measurement and uh, first we should start uh, with a chart how it looks like many people choose the line style which is a big mistake uh, since you can see that if I connect all data points with line uh, from the first to the last it seems to be a straight line but it is not true because if I do it together with the corresponding time you can see that there is a gap between so if you have the chance please always use the corresponding data pairs for example time and capture data so use the scatter plot whenever you have these data and they are available. Now I will make uh, the chart a little bit more beautiful. I will format the grid line. As you have seen in uh, earlier videos from me, I always recommend grid lines because it is more easy to read the data from the chart and uh, follow what happens during simulation, calculation, or how are our data. Of course, the titles are missing x-axis will be measurement time in day y-axis will be data right now we imagine it is in kilogram so now we have a nice chart and here are all our data points i will make space for any further calculation and uh, first uh, i will modify uh, the chart type because uh, I would like to have it without any line and an automatic symbol. It means that it will be more easy to get any trend line. We will insert our trend line as a single line. And uh, I would like to see the equation and the determination coefficient together. So now you can see what is the function that can describe how data is changing during time and here is a determination coefficient how strong the relationship between time and uh, my measured data so we are going to uh, predict this function uh, try to figure out what could be the function describing the relationship we have to calculate the uh, estimated data and of course we will have some uh, error uh, of the estimation. To be able to do this we need coefficients. Uh, for example here in the line we have a multiplication uh, constant and uh, one intercept slope and intercept for the line. Slope intercept. Initially I will uh, insert one one to be able to calculate with it and mark in green that this is uh, the value we are looking for. I will name the slope as parameter A and the intercept as parameter B because it is more easy to include into the equation. So using these values I can already calculate the estimated values parameter E times uh, the time plus parameter b and now you can see that we have the estimated values here and we can add these estimated values to the chart as data ranges we will see what is the estimation add the name will be 
estimated, the x values will be the time, like in previous case, and the y values will be the estimated values. Sorry, I have to move it away. And here are the estimated values. Okay, so now in red color we can see what is the estimation using these coefficients. So when we modify the coefficients, of course, these uh, points will move away. And uh, we will see the error of the estimation will be squared error, the difference between estimated and data on the square. We have to calculate with the square, so positive and negative differences will not kill each other, and uh, we can calculate exactly what is the deviation from uh, data with our estimation. The sum of squares uh, we will calculate. This will be the one key value we want to uh, adjust to minimum. So right now uh, we can use the solver to try to fit these red uh, estimated points uh, to the trend line. I will start the solver function of the software and here we have to adjust three things. First, the target cell. The target cell should be always a calculation. For example, right now, the sum of squares. I would like to adjust the minimum mistake, the smallest error. So I will calculate with the minimum. This is the target. And what can I modify to uh, reach this goal? I can modify the parameters. So the three things uh, are set up to find uh, our equation. The target cell is the minimum of the squared error, the sum of squared errors. Uh, we want to get the minimum of it and we can change the function coefficients. You can observe that we have only two constant values, two function coefficients for all points because we have only one equation. If you click on options, we can calculate with uh, several different types of algorithms. Uh, if you are not really expert in it, I suggest to keep the default one, but we can click on assume non-negative values, variables, uh, because if you have a correct equation, uh, all signs uh, can be included already in the equation and uh, it helps uh, finding the solution easier. And especially if it is a result of, uh, let's say, production, uh, then uh, minus one kilogram we cannot produce. So, depending on the meaning uh, of the equations, now we solve it, and yes, we have the values, keep the results, and here you can see uh, the values very, very similar to what the trend line was calculated, and all red points now moved to the trend line here. What can be the quality? Uh, of uh, the curve fitting, so the quality parameters, we can also calculate by ourselves. For example, the R squared value, which is here as a determination coefficient, can be calculated as a correlation value between data and the estimation, what we calculated by our function, but we would like to use uh, the R squared value, so we square it, and you can see that we obtain the similar quality parameter to it. The second very popular is root mean squared error, uh, which uh, calculates exactly what it sounds for. It calculates the square root of the average of the uh, squared errors. This way, it can say what is the typical distance between our estimation and the measured point. So it is exactly in the same units like our data, for example, in kilogram. And now we have two quality parameters to describe our equation, how it fit to the data using the least squares method. Uh, we summarized the, the squared errors of the estimation and uh, adjusted with the solver the slope and intercept, the two coefficients of the equation. And here you can change the equation that describes your data. It can be also a nonlinear uh, equation, anything you want, and you cannot find the trend line. Thank you for your attention.